For nearly 20 years, one aircraft has occupied a place in military aviation that no competitor has been able to challenge. It has never been shot down in combat, it has never been directly engaged by an equal adversary, and despite being designed during the final years of the Cold War, it continues to shape how modern air warfare is planned, modeled, and feared. The F-22 Raptor was never intended to be merely an advanced fighter. It was designed to dominate the skies so completely that opposing aircraft would never even realize it was there. Today, however, the global balance of air power is shifting. Near-peer competitors are closing technological gaps, deploying longer-range missiles, more capable radars, and integrated air defense networks designed specifically to counter American air superiority. At the same time, the United States is developing its next generation of combat aircraft, often described as sixth-generation fighters, incorporating artificial intelligence, manned-unmanned teaming, and unprecedented levels of connectivity. In the middle of this transition, the F-22 is undergoing a transformation so extensive that it challenges traditional generational labels. This transformation has come to be known as the Super Raptor Upgrade, and its scope is redefining what the F-22 is, what it can do, and how long it will remain relevant in the most contested airspace on Earth. When the F-22 entered service in 2005, it represented a clean break from previous fighter design philosophies. It was the first aircraft to fully integrate stealth, supercruise, advanced sensor fusion, and extreme maneuverability into a single operational platform. Earlier stealth aircraft sacrificed speed and agility. Earlier high-performance fighters sacrificed survivability. The Raptor combined both. Its radar cross-section was minimized through precise shaping and specialized materials. Its Pratt & Whitney F-119 engines allowed it to cruise at supersonic speeds without afterburners, giving it greater range, faster response times, and a reduced infrared signature. Its flight control system enabled super maneuverability at high angles of attack, allowing it to dominate close-in engagements if necessary. But perhaps most importantly, the F-22 was designed to see first, shoot first, and disengage before the enemy could react. For years, that combination placed it so far ahead of any potential adversary that the concept of air-to-air -air parity effectively disappeared from U.S. strategic planning. However, the Raptor was also a product of its time. Its avionics architecture was revolutionary in the 1990s, but it was built as a closed system. Upgrades required extensive reprogramming, testing, and certification. Unlike newer platforms designed with modular open architectures, the F-22 was never intended to evolve rapidly in software-driven cycles. As the nature of warfare shifted toward data-centric operations, this limitation became increasingly apparent. Modern conflicts are no longer defined solely by the performance of individual platforms. They are defined by networks, information dominance, and the ability to integrate sensors and shooters across domains. Aircraft today must function as nodes in a vast interconnected system that includes satellites, unmanned aircraft, naval assets, ground-based air defenses, and cyber capabilities. In this environment, raw performance alone is not enough. The Air Force faced a choice, retire the F-22 earlier than planned and wait for a future platform to replace it, or invest in a comprehensive modernization effort that would allow the Raptor to remain dominant well into the 2030s and beyond. The decision was clear. No existing or near-term aircraft could replace the unique combination of stealth, speed, altitude, and air-to-air -air lethality that the F-22 provides. Rather than letting that advantage erode, the Air Force chose to push the Raptor forward, transforming it into something that its original designers could scarcely have imagined. At the core of the Super Raptor upgrade is a fundamental overhaul of the aircraft's avionics and computing systems. The original mission computers, while powerful for their era, are being replaced with modern processors capable of handling vastly greater amounts of data. This increase in computing power allows for more advanced sensor fusion, faster threat identification, and more sophisticated electronic warfare techniques. Instead of presenting pilots with raw sensor inputs that must be interpreted manually, the upgraded F-22 synthesizes information from radar, infrared sensors, electronic support measures, and off-board sources into a single, coherent tactical picture. The pilot is no longer managing sensors, the aircraft is managing information. 
This shift is critical in an era where engagements may unfold in seconds. Hypersonic weapons, long-range missiles, and highly automated air defense systems leave little room for delay. The F-22's upgraded systems are designed to reduce the time between detection and decision, allowing the pilot to act faster and with greater confidence. In practical terms, this means identifying enemy aircraft or missile launches earlier, determining intent more accurately, and selecting optimal responses without overwhelming the pilot with data. Stealth, long considered the defining feature of the F-22, is also evolving under the Super Raptor program. Traditional stealth focused primarily on radar cross-section reduction through shaping and materials. While those features remain central to the Raptor's survivability, modern detection systems operate across multiple spectrums. Infrared search and track systems, passive radio frequency sensors, and networked radar arrays are designed to exploit any detectable signature. The upgraded F-22 incorporates improvements in radar absorbent materials that are more durable and easier to maintain, reducing the logistical burden while preserving low observability. At the same time, enhancements to infrared signature management reduce the aircraft's visibility to heat-seeking sensors, particularly during high-speed flight. Equally important is emissions control. In modern combat, an aircraft's own radar and communications can become sources of detection. The Super Raptor's electronic warfare systems allow it to operate more effectively in passive modes, gathering information without broadcasting its presence. When active emissions are required, they can be precisely controlled, minimizing the risk of detection while still providing the necessary situational awareness. In this sense, stealth becomes dynamic rather than static. The aircraft is not merely hiding, it is actively managing how, when, and if it is seen. Weapons integration represents another major area of transformation. The original F-22 was designed around the IAM-120 AMRAAM and IAM-9 Sidewinder, weapons that remain highly capable but were conceived in an earlier era of air combat. Today's threat environment demands longer engagement ranges, greater resistance to electronic countermeasures, and improved performance against highly maneuverable targets. The Super Raptor is being prepared to carry the IAM-260 Joint Advanced Tactical Missile, a weapon designed to restore and exceed the range advantage once held by American fighters. This missile allows the F-22 to engage enemy aircraft at distances that challenge their ability to respond effectively, reinforcing the see-first, shoot-first doctrine that is find the Raptor since its inception. Crucially, these weapons are carried internally, preserving the aircraft's stealth profile. This internal carriage, combined with improved weapons management systems, allows for faster targeting and engagement cycles. In practical terms, the Super Raptor can identify a threat, assign a weapon, and execute an engagement with minimal delay, often before the adversary is aware that it has been targeted. In high-end conflict scenarios, this capability is not merely advantageous, it is decisive. Perhaps most profound change, however, lies in connectivity. For much of its service life, the F-22 operated largely in isolation from other platforms due to incompatible data links. While secure and effective within its own ecosystem, this limited its ability to share information with other aircraft and forces in real time. The Super Raptor addresses this limitation directly. Modernized data links allow the F-22 to exchange information seamlessly with F-35s, airborne air awareness aircraft, unmanned systems, and command and control nodes across the battle space. In this environment, the F-22 does more than fight. It senses, coordinates, and directs. Operating deep inside contested airspace, it can gather intelligence on enemy movements, radar emissions, and force dispositions, then relay that information to other assets without revealing its own position. It can cue long-range weapons launched from ships or ground-based platforms, effectively extending its influence far beyond its immediate vicinity. In future scenarios, it may even coordinate unmanned aircraft, directing them to perform reconnaissance, electronic attack, or strike missions while remaining safely outside the most dangerous threat envelopes. This concept of manned-unmanned teaming is often cited as a hallmark of sixth-generation aircraft, yet the Super Raptor is already moving in that direction. While it may not possess all the autonomous capabilities envisioned for future platforms, its ability to integrate with and command other systems represents a significant step toward that model. In this sense, the F-22 is not being replaced by sixth-generation concepts, it is helping to define them. 
Despite all these advancements, the Raptor's physical performance remains one of its most enduring advantages. Super Cruise allows it to enter and exit contested areas quickly, reducing exposure time and increasing operational flexibility. High altitude performance provides greater sensor range and missile effectiveness. Extreme agility ensures that if an engagement does devolve into a close-range fight, the F-22 remains lethal. No current or projected adversary aircraft combines these attributes at the same level. While some platforms may excel in specific areas, none match the overall balance of stealth, speed, maneuverability, and situational awareness. The question then is whether these upgrades truly blur the line between fifth and sixth generation fighters. Traditionally, generational labels have been defined by specific technological milestones. Fifth generation aircraft introduced stealth as a central design feature and integrated sensor fusion. Sixth generation concepts emphasize artificial intelligence, advanced autonomy, and deep integration with unmanned systems. The upgraded Super Raptor doesn't fully meet every criterion of a sixth-generation platform. It remains a piloted aircraft with a legacy airframe. Yet, in operational terms, it performs many of the same functions envisioned for future systems. It manages information, orchestrates networks, and shapes the battle space in ways that extend far beyond traditional air-to-air -air combat. From a strategic perspective, this transformation has significant implications.